Hierarchies are about building layers in your data to not only help in analysis, but also in the viewing experience of your audience. Now, a simple example of a hierarchy is a date, starting from year to quarter to month, week, day, hour, and so on. We can break the data up in these layers, but it, we don't have to limit ourselves to just date. We can literally apply it to anything, and it's super simple to do. <laughs> In this video, we're going to talk about hierarchies. Now, you've actually used hierarchies already. Um, every time you use a date field, it has pre-built or built-in hierarchies. So let me show you what that means. Let's bring in the year. So I'm going to bring this into rows this time. Okay, so we have that. And I'm going to bring in the delivery fee as a bar. Okay, so because it's time and a measure, it's going to think it's a line chart. So let's switch this to bar. All right, there we have it. And we're going to exclude this now. So simply clicking, hovering, and pressing exclude. And that creates our filter. Okay, so just so we have a slightly cleaner data set. Now, the hierarchy is this plus symbol, all right? Meaning year, month, day. That's a hierarchy. So we can press this plus button and it will split this down further. You can see, there you have it. Right, so it's very useful. I can go all the way down to day, hours, minutes, and so on. Right, whatever granularity you really want to see. Okay, I can also switch this to continuous. So let's say I do continuous year, right, and I'm going to transpose these two so that it kind of turns sideways. I'm going to press this button right here. Okay, so we have years. I can increase this, uh, increase the granularity, you know, using the hierarchy. So now it's in quarters, months weeks, days, now it's getting super granular, hour, minutes, seconds, and so on and so forth, right? So you can use um, hierarchies in, in a variety of ways. Now, how does this actually get used in a real life situation? Let me show you. So let's say I have this at a year level, okay? And I'm in a meeting, right? As I always am in my stories. So I'm in a meeting with my bosses and they go, Jed, how's 2020 um, going with the delivery fees. I'm like, well, look, you know, because the project started late um, last year, we are sitting at about, you know, 22,000. Cool. And sometimes they'll be like, okay, cool. Next topic, move on. Right. But let's say they go, oh, Jed, that seems low. Why aren't we at 30 yet? I mean, how did the last few months go? Well, in the past, when we used to do like Excel spreadsheets, you would pretty much have a visualization like this. You present it, put it up on the wall or whatever, and it is what it is. So they go, well, what's the breakdown? And you pretty much have to go, no worries, I'll get that information to you. You write it down, you come back later, or you email the data. The idea with Tableau and digital visualizations is that you can drill down at the discussion, right, when it happens. So they go, oh, you want to see this at, you know, a quarter uh, granularity? Okay, cool. Done, right? And in fact, once we get into Tableau online and people are consuming your visualizations, which basically means you're not even there. They just log in, they look at all the visualizations. You, they can actually interact much in the same, in much the same way. So they can go, well, no, I want to see months. Cool. Let's go further. Let's see it on weeks. And they can do all sorts of analysis on their own. This now gets into the realm of self-service analytics. Basically, you don't need the analyst anymore. They build tools so that people can solve their own problems and do their own analytics, right? But We'll get to that later because that's like a whole different subject. All right, so that's kind of a real world application. You don't have to limit yourself to just dates for hierarchies. You can actually build your own custom ones. Well, when is this handy? So let's build a fresh one. I'm going to clear this using this button. Let's start from scratch. Let's say I wanted to do a metro calculation, right? Metro regional. So I'm going to bring in that delivery fee again. All right, so we've got the bar here. Let's bring in Metro Regional. I'm going to filter these out, get rid of the null, uh, and get rid of the X for now. And this is our visualization. And we want to drill down. Okay, so we want to go, well, Metro, I want you to then break it down into states. Okay, you can do this ahead of time. No issue at all. However, if you're presenting to senior management, sometimes they don't want that much detail. But you want to have the option to show that if they ask it. Okay, so I can't simply take this off on the fly, right? You, Because you're not going to have access to Tableau Desktop if you're presenting through Tableau Online. So you can build a hierarchy. So let me show you how you build that. 
Actually, I'll leave that there. So you select the things you want to you want part of the hierarchy. So in this case, it's Metro Regional. I'm going to hold Control, and I'm going to select State and Group. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to go Hierarchy, and then Create. It's going to give me a default name. You can rename this if you want, and I'm just going to go OK. What you'll notice is this now has a plus symbol. Right? If you can't see that, let me zoom in. It's now got a nice little plus symbol inside the square, much like we had in the dates. And you'll also notice here on the left side, we've got this kind of you know indent here. That is the hierarchy. The order in which these appear is very important because that dictates how your um, hierarchies kind of unfold or open up. So Metro being the one on the top will unfold into state and group. So I can press this plus button right here and it will open it up. I can press it again and it will close it up, right? So this is really nice to build this kind of um, functionality in so that people can dig deeper without having to see all the details. Um, some of the mistakes I see when people build visualizations is they haven't thought well enough of who am I actually presenting this to? And they just, because they're, like, they're excited with Tableau and I was much like, I was like this at the beginning, they would just flood the visualization with heaps of things and it's overwhelming, doesn't get to the point um, and it just creates more confusion. All right, so the other things you can do is you can change the order. So I can, for example, grab state, and let's say I want that one to be the higher level. I can put that up there. Let's move this one. I'm going to bring in state, and state will now have the plus. So when I press it, it goes from state into metro regional. Okay, I can add more things in. So let's say I wanted to add postcode as well. I just simply drag postcode in here, and you'll see that little black line. And now it's added. So if I open this up, all the way up to postcode level. If I want to take something out, I can simply grab it and take it out. Right? Or I can right click, I can go, where is it, hierarchy, and remove from hierarchy. Or I can delete the hierarchy completely, simply by uh, clicking the title and going remove. All right, very simple. So it's very easy to create them. There's one last trick you can do to create a hierarchy, which is simply dragging one field on top of another. So let's say I'm going to do state group. I can grab this, drop it right on top of Metro Regional, and it will also build a hierarchy. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time.